After a gloriously sunny weekend, today's skies opened and thunderstorms brought torrential downpours and flooding to parts of London. Commuters shared videos like this of a car ploughing through deep puddles after flash flooding hit northwest London, turning roads into mini rivers. Today's bad weather has also had a large impact on travel, including flights. Gatwick Airport has encouraged passengers to contact their airlines before preparing to catch their next plane to get further information due to the threat of more thunderstorms. Dramatic thunderstorms bring torrential downpours and flash flooding to parts of the UK. Well, meanwhile, storm warnings are in place for Northern Ireland and Scotland today after torrential downpours caused flooding and traffic problems across the UK yes. late yesterday. Yeah, the heavy rain affected roads, flights, even Manchester City's victory parade, as Vincent McAvinney can now report. After a weekend of sunshine with temperatures topping 30 degrees Celsius in parts of the country, it was inevitable storms would follow. In North London, cars had to traverse deep puddles after downpours caused flash flooding. In Maidenhead, it was much the same. Drivers in Hendon had to pause their journeys due to poor visibility. <laughs> And on the M1, cars even had to pass under a waterfall. Woo! Over 7,500 lightning strikes were recorded nationwide, with more expected. Despite the bad weather causing delays, thousands of Manchester City fans lined city centre streets for the open top parade celebrating the club's treble. The players, still on a victorious high, seemed unfazed taking their shirts off as they paraded their new silverware. For travellers, though, it was less joyous, with thunderstorms in the south of England having cancelled flights on Sunday, causing knock-on delays and cancellations on Monday due to planes being out of position. Tuesday is set to be drier and more settled, with large amounts of sunshine, but with yellow warnings in place for much of Northern Ireland and Western Scotland from noon to 9pm, we could see more storm disruption. Vincent McAvinney, BBC News. Lots of problems everywhere with the rain last night. Did you get caught in it? A lot of flooding, uh, on causing disruption for travel as well. I avoided the rain, but I caught all the tail end of it uh, trying to travel yesterday. So, um, yeah, it's causing huge problems. And another thing that's causing a lot of problems right now is pollen.